Hello and welcome to yet another in a series of Synergy videos. This video is going to be about Synergy Desktop, the application that allows you to see inside the Synergy Archive. Okay, so opening up my desktop, I start with my Explorer window over here on the left hand side. And at the top of that Explorer window, you'll see that we have our SQL database. So we can have multiple databases in here, but we've only got one for this demonstration. My database opens up in a tree format that you should hopefully recognize from standard Microsoft type trees that you're already using. I'm going to go down and drill down into those until I come to something that looks remarkably like a film reel and that is actually my raw footage, my captured footage. I can open that one up, so I'm going to open one up of me just so that I can demonstrate that and when we open that inside our archive, remember looking at our media storage and our database, I get to view a window that has a nice picture of me, which I can play, so I can play my assets back from my archive. I can listen to those as well, if I had my sound turned on. I could also um, add into there useful metadata. So I can amend metadata that's been added at ingest or start from fresh if there's nothing in there. That will now be transmitted to every other version of this sitting on the archive itself. Not only that, then, that's my master role. So up there I can see my master ingest. That's my raw footage, if you like. This area down here, though, will now be where I'm going to gather all of my assets. And I can open a clip bin and start to copy footage into my clip bin. And you'll see now we're starting to get large numbers of clips in there so I can make those slightly smaller give myself more room and remember this is a desktop client it's talking to the server and the database remotely there's no actual media flying backwards and forwards it's all looking at the same original footage even if I make copies of it so it's very quick to respond and you can see in my bin I've actually made choices already on some of these items so if I open my last item there I can add an in point and an out point and choose which part of that clip I want to work on. And if I know nothing about editing from this point onwards, I can now go into a thing called sequence mode up here and play those five assets there as a complete sequence. If I just press play on that, you'll see that my assets are going to play. And you should see a little red line appear at the top of, the, of each item to show you where we are within that item. So the top of each item is actually a timeline about what's in that item. So even though I've made choices, there is still all the rest of that available to you. And you can see very quickly, it shows you whether they're going to cut together, whether these assets are actually going to work in any sensible way at all. And there we go. We've made a whole lot of decisions there and decided that, yes, that would make quite a nice cut. But I'd like to work with that further, so I can send that now to a sequence. How do we do that? We just literally right-click and convert to a sequence. It says, where do you want this sequence? Well, we're going to have it in the same place. We'll call it Simon Sequence 2. There we go. And I've set everything else up. So just by doing that, I've now converted those five assets directly down onto a non-linear editing timeline. That just shows you the instant power of the Synergy desktop. One of the other really powerful tools that we have available to you in the Synergy desktop is the search engine. Let's have a quick look at that. Over here at the top menu bar in the desktop itself, we can hit the search button and that brings us up a very simple search. And I can search for something. I know I've got something called uh, Office in there. So whatever metadata I've entered into the system, it will now do a complete search of all metadata fields. And look at that. It's brought back something already and highlighted where it's picked up that word from. Not only that, but I can then click on the icon that's brought back from search and pull it up as a viewing window that I can add my in and out points to already. So I can choose where to stop that and decide to send that directly down and add it to my timeline straight from the search engine. So that tells you a little bit about Synergy Desktop as an overview. We're going to come back and look at much more specific areas of the desktop. So join us again in future videos.